Hello, friends. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing today? Make sure you let me know that you're watching. Type something in the in the chat bar so I know you're here and the feed is working. We're trying a new setup tonight, so we have our lights done a little different. I hope that's going to work well. Was, had lots of people saying they wanted to see some some more Halloween goodies when I was asking last night. So here we go. We're going to do some Halloween. We're going to do some jack-o'-lantern. Hello, hello. Let me know who's watching. Facebook hasn't caught up yet, so I see eyeballs, but it doesn't tell me who you are. Thanks for joining either way. Hope everybody's having a nice day. Had a nice day, rather. Lots of fun crafting stuff, I hope. I did a lot of procrastinating. I tried to do everything I could that wasn't what I needed to be doing, but was craft related instead. I made so many signs. You guys, I am on a roll. Actually, I'm on a mission. I'm trying to get 20 signs made um, before next Tuesday. So I am working it. Working it, working it. Oh, I got a thumbs up. You can hear me. You can see me. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm still trying to move our setup around a little bit. Get it just right. Get it just right. So where are you watching from this evening? Let me know in the chat box. We're going to do an interactive build a jack-o'-lantern tonight. So y'all be ready to Give me either thumbs up or hearts because I'm going to be asking questions and that's how we'll determine stuff. Oh no, is the sound not good, Nat? Let me see, I'm going to move some stuff. Hi Carla, it just popped up that I've got Carla watching. Hi Carla, hi Natalie, thanks for watching. Yay! Thank you so much. Awesome. Natalie, give me a thumbs up if the sound is okay. Hi, hi, hi. How about you, Carla? You're, you're telling me hi, so I'm hoping that means you can hear me all right. I hope, I hope. Sound is great. Awesome. So um, we're going to do a jack-o'-lantern tonight. And um, I went ahead, I did this the other day. We painted up this disc. And I thought we would at least start with this. I don't know how this is going to turn out because this is wood and I've painted it with chalkboard paint. I'm hoping that um, a single coat of the chalkboard paint is going to stay on there and we're not going to have it be pull pulled up at all. Hi Judy, thanks for watching. So I thought that we would start out, um, I picked a pumpkin that's going to fit on this board. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fuzz up this transfer and that is this is a um, silk screen design transfer it's on a sticky adhesive back and it is reusable so we're just going to remove it from its backer and we're going to put it on a clean dry towel now this is going to take some of the stickiness away and this just preps our transfer so that um, we can get it off of the wood easily oh goodness look at it it doesn't even want to come off the towel what is going on? We're going to do this a couple of times. It is so sticky. So sticky, you guys. It's even sticking to itself. So while we're doing that, I have some faces over here. Hopefully you can see all the faces. Um, we have the squig... Well, let's see. We've got the square squiggle eye. 
eyes. We've got the spiral eyes. I'm going to call this the scary face. And this is the traditional Jack. So we have these faces to choose from. Let me know which ones you would like to see. Which one would you like us to do? We want the square, the spiral, the scary, or the traditional. Or I guess I could say wonky. I also have a wonky face. Let me put my wonky face over here. Wonky face. Wah, wah, wonky face. Scary, oh my gosh, scary. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. We have one for scary, oh. I don't know. I'm such a fraidy cat. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out which way is the right way up. And I'm going to pick this up and look through it in the light. So that's just so I can kind of get it centered a little bit from the edges. Do it again. And I want to be close to the bottom. So we have to have room for a stem. We've got to make a plan first, right? This is like doing any other project. We want to have an, an idea. Hi, Gabriella. Thanks for joining. Hi, Judy. Thanks for joining. The second one. Okay, the second one is this guy. So I have square, swirl, scary, traditional, wonky. Five is too many, too many to choose from. I love these too. So I'm just putting this guy down, making sure that all of the air bubbles are out. It doesn't feel like they are. I'm seeing some things, so I'm actually gonna pick it up and go over it again. Hi, Barbara, thanks for joining us. We're picking faces. Picking what kind of face we want to do. Do we want square, spiral, scary, traditional, or wonky? There's all kinds of questions I'm going to ask you guys tonight. Oh, I see what's happening. This is, because this is such a wide open area, it's feeling like there's air bubbles, but there's nothing to actually hold that down. So what's holding it down is the area around the design. Interesting. I've not done a big open one like this. Hey, Nat. The second and wonky. Spiral and wonky. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do to even narrow it down a little bit more. Let's just go with three choices. I don't know that I can handle the scary guy today. He scares me. So I have square, spiral, or wonky. We'll narrow our choices down a little bit. Spiral or wonky. Okay, so somebody else vote spiral or wonky. So we're down to two. We're down to two. Spiral or wonky? Spiral, wonky. Uh oh, we have a tie. <laughs> Somebody else vote. Spiral or wonky? Who's going to get it? Spiral. Spiral wins. Okay. Now, do we, I think we just leave him like he is. I was going to say, do we want to add a, add more to the face, but that's just getting too complicated. So we can do our Jack face. It's going to be, our Jack lanterns face is going to be on a black background. So we have a couple of choices here. Do we want to do, oh my goodness just realized how are we going to do that okay do we want to do the jack-o-lantern in orange i have orange peel so we can do it in orange or we can do it in white or y'all can pick a crazy color so orange white or crazy let's start with that because pumpkins can be any color 
And while you guys are, um, while you guys are doing that and deciding, I'm going to go ahead and fuzz up the spiral face. Spiral one, wah wah. Or I guess that should be ta da. <laughs> Crazy, crazy color. I like it. Okay, what kind of crazy color do we want to do? Give me a generalized crazy color and I'll pull it out of my bucket and see what I can come up with. It's got to look good on black. Just keep that in mind. I'm really fuzzing this guy up. What kind of crazy color do we want? If I was a crazy color, purple. All right, anybody else have a vote for crazy colors? Purple. Hi, Maria. Thanks for joining us. How are you? You're de-stressing. Well, I'm hoping that that's a that de-stressing is a good thing. Now, do you, am I am I correct that you're the one with uh with the new grandbaby? Well, we have a vote for an orange pumpkin. I do have yellow eyes, so we have yellow eyes. We're going to go ahead and do yellow like there's a candle peeking, poke, uh, shining through. One more for orange. One for purple. Two for orange. Judy says orange pumpkin and purple eyes. No way, man. <laughs> the orange and the purple is really close. Um, no, that's so wrong. Scratch that. Reverse. The orange and the yellow is really close. <laughs> He's a crazy pumpkin. He can be purple. He can be blue. He can be green. I don't know. Green's going to be crazy because we're going to do stems too. So let's don't do green. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Miss Maria. Baby Skyler. She looked adorable. Adorable. Oh, purple pumpkin with orange eyes. We could do that. We could totally do that. And let's see. I have another. Let me pull out my other color. Uh, I've got even better. I've got one that's between yellow and orange. We'll do that. That will be fabulous. Yay. Okay, let's talk stems. Oh my gosh, do I, did I leave enough room? We might have to re... I think I've got to reposition it because I didn't leave enough room for stems. So we're doing the crazy... Oh, one more time. One more time. If I'm so lucky, one more time. Okay, so does our spiral fit? Nope, our spiral doesn't fit. Does our twist fit? Nope, twist doesn't fit. Okay, I'm going to try to get this thing lower. Okay, he's very low on there. Let's see, let's see. The spiral can maybe fit. The twist can maybe fit. Okay. Spiral, twist, or hook. Those are our choices. Spiral, twist, hook. Oh my 
my gosh, Skylar's mommy and daddy got married today in the hospital since today was the day that they picked to marry and Skylar came early so the nurses wanted to make it happen. That is incredible. What a blessing. Yay for baby Skylar and her mommy and daddy. That is awesome. Yay. That's fantastic. While you guys are picking, I'm going to actually be writing on the back. Twist, spiral, of course. Okay, we're going to take the hook out because nobody picked hook first. So the twist or the spiral. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cover that sucker up somehow. Twist or spiral? Twist, twist. Okay, twist it is. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Let's cut it apart. You know what I'm going to say. We're going to fuzz it up. Oh, let me put this guy back in the picture. There's going to be drying between layers on this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The first wedding ever at the hospital. How cool is that? I love it. Love it. Love, love, love. Okay. Now, just for grins, we're going to see if that is going to fit. It's just barely going to make it. But we're going to make it work. We're just doing it. We are just going to do it, guys. That's it. That's all there is to it. This is going to be so cute. It would, well, it would help if I would get, go in the right direction. Let's see. That is probably a delivery at my door because they don't know that we're live. They don't know. They don't know. Yes. They don't know. Sorry. Crazy. Craziness. Crazy craziness. Sorry I'm getting so close up, you guys. I just saw that it was doing that. That's so funny. I didn't even think about the phone being up there. Ugh, gotta move it down. Gots to move it down. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, and I believe we decided on purple for the pumpkin. Purple with crazy eyes. So let's get this purple open and let's see what we're dealing with. Ooh, grape soda. It is a bright purple. Look at that gorgeousness. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it a lot. All right. Ooh, I'm nervous. I hope I have this thing. Well, I tell you what, I have it centered on here, as centered as it's going to get, as close to the bottom as it's going to get, so we're just going to do it. So I'm going to take my small squeegee. This is a full-size small squeegee. It hasn't been cut down, and here we go over this giant open area on the wood, and because it's wood, it is going to soak in really quickly. So this is going to take a little more than um, our other transfers have as far as what it's going to take for the Chalkology paste, but that's no big deal. It's going to be worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Awesome sauce. Alright, a little more paste. And this is, I'm seeing it in the monitor, and I'm going to tell you, this is much more Crayola purple than the violet that it's actually showing on the screen. I wish that it would pick up the color the right way. All right, the excess is going right back in the bottle because there is a lot of it. Fantastic. Okay, and we're going to peel it and reveal it. Look at that purple pumpkin. What? What? That is so cool. You guys, what a great thing. 
It was not Happy Meal for me. I was so hoping it was Happy Meal for me, but it wasn't. It was pizza for my daughter. Yeah, no Happy Meal for me today. Just unhappy meal. Time that nobody wants. Okay, here we go. We are going to, actually, before I turn that on, I'm going to go ahead and close up the purple paste because we are done with the purple paste. So I'm going to set that aside. It's going to get a little bit loud. So if you're sensitive to the um, heat gun, I'm using an embossing gun. If you're sensitive to that, go ahead and turn your sound down for about 30 seconds. And here we go. Okay, now you do not have to heat set the Chalkology paste. I'm doing the heat on it um, to dry it because I want it to be completely dry before I do the next layer. Um, I also want it to come back up to regular temperature. So we're going to just let that sit for a minute. Meanwhile, let's do the happy dance. Let's see if I can make some faces. Who can make faces with emojis on, um, on the screen? Y'all give me some emojis. Look at that purpleness. So cute. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, so I think it's come back up to temperature pretty good. I am going to try to eyeball this and put our stem on. Hmm, humbugger. Well, it's not all the way going to fit. I am so irritated with that. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to cheat it. I'm actually going to make it fit on the circle. I'm going to go all the way to the top, and we're going to have it come down a little bit on top of the purple. And that's just going to have to be okay. Just going to have to be okay. So... I'm thinking that our stem can be one of two colors. It can be brown or it can be green. What do you guys think? I'm almost thinking a green stem, but he's kind of twisted like it's old, and that kind of makes me think brown, but he's purple, so he could be any color we want. So, green or brown? Who's going to be first to say? Hey, Laura, thanks for joining. Green or brown? La, 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 la. Just pretend I'm the Jeopardy song. Pretend I can sing. Pretend I'm in tune. It's all good. I'm cleaning off my squeegee. Green. Okay, I don't know who said green, but I'm glad you did. Lime green, I don't have a lime green. Oh, this is the brightest green that I have. Let me see. Let me show you guys. We'll go with green. We got a green. I'm happy with green. Ta da. Done and done. Let's do this thing. Okay. I hope it's not super messy, but it probably will be. Ah, oh, it's pretty messy. Okay. I, let's see. Let's see. Here we go. We're going to 
test it. It's okay. It's a little bit thicker than um, than sour cream. You're going for the consistency of about sour cream, but I don't want to mess with actually stirring that whole thing because it's super messy. So I'm just going to apply it right now as thick as it is right over the top of the stem over our design. I'm going to pick up the excess and go right back in the bottle. Oh, it's going to be so cute. It's going to be so cute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it didn't even pull any of the purple up. I was so worried it was going to pull some of the purple up, but it didn't. That was awesome. So get it off of the squeegee. The squeegee goes in the water. The lid goes on the green. Get that put aside and I'm going to set the transfer, the silk screen, into our water bucket so that it doesn't dry out on me. We don't want it to dry with the um, with the Chalkology paste actually in the silk screen because that's not good for it. Now here we go again with the heat gun. So give it about 30 seconds with your volume turned down if you're sensitive to the noise. So far, so good. Okay. I don't know. I'm having a hard time between these two. I think I'm going to go with the school bus yellow. It's an orangey yellow. I have more of that um, since I have a bunch of pumpkin projects that I've been doing and still more to do. Ooh, and it's kind of dry. So I'm going to give it a spritz and give it a stir while we're waiting for the temperature to come back to normal on... Um, our project over here. Ooh, this is going to be so pretty. This is going to look so good with my decorations. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So that is not hot any longer going to get our transfer, our silk screen of our face. That is hard to see. Oh my goodness. I didn't think about that, guys. It's hard to tell where the center is. I'm thinking it doesn't matter if it's straight for real because it's a wonky pumpkin. So let's give it a little press down or remove the air bubbles. Oh, I hope it doesn't pull any of our of our purple off. Okay, here we go. Right over the top of the silk screen design. Pulling the excess off as we go and spreading it on the other open areas. This is so super cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Get all that excess off of there. Set that aside. Here we go. Hold your breath. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. You guys, it looks so good. Look at that thing. How stinking cute is this? What? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. What do you think? Did we do good with our choices? I hope y'all like it as much as I do. Cleaning up my mess a little bit. 
that's something else I really like about this product. It's super easy to use, but it's also easy to clean up. Because I am messy. I am super messy. I am like the queen of messy. I have it all over my hands and all over the counter, everywhere. Oh my gosh. So yes. Okay, so a little bit about Chalk Couture because I got I got notified today. I got told by somebody today in a very lovingly way that I don't really tell you guys about the product that I'm using. Um, and that's because I'm just coming on here to have fun. Um, but this is Chalkology Paste. It is by Chalk Couture. It is a new product that's only been on the market for about a year. And you buy it through designers. I happen to be a designer. Uh, I'm going to tell you that if you're interested in getting some, you should contact me for a sample pack. I do sample packs for $8. You get a little disc to chalk on. You get a small little transfer. You get a little container with about 2.2 ounces of uh, chalk paste. It's enough to do both sides of the chalk disc and a little bit more. And um, that way you can try it out. And then if you like it as much as I like it, sign up because they love hobbyists and their hobbyists get the same exact discount as everybody else so there's no like monthly minimums there's nobody beating on your door going you got to have a party you got to do a quota you got to do this you got to do that no you sign up you're good to go for six months without meeting any kind of minim minimums and you get 40 percent off of retail every single day I love that and I love their products I stand behind them completely they are my absolute favorite new form of media I use the chalk paste and the chalk couture ink and I love it so if you're interested in getting a sample just hit me up with a PM and I am happy to do that otherwise we're just gonna keep playing because I like to play with this stuff and I'm having such a great time so that's that that is that so what kind of stuff do you guys want to see me do next? Are we still on Halloween? Somebody let me know. Because I can do more Halloween. I know I can. I love me some Halloween. Love, love, love. Got my area all cleaned up. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Carla. More Halloween, please. I love it. Okay, if you want to see something else right now, give me a thumbs up. Because we can keep going or we can save it for tomorrow. Hey, I'm letting the, the Facebook feed catch up with me. It's telling me that there's a huge lag. I hate that. I love Facebook Lives, but the lag is crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got some, I got some thumbs up. So I'm going to go grab a chalk disc and one of our miniature pieces for Halloween. And we'll pick something else to do right now. Okay, here we go. Would you like to see another jack-o'-lantern, a miniature jack-o'-lantern, spooky bats, or a ghost? Let me know in the comments.
Okay, I'm back. What do you guys want to do? You want to do a jack-o'-lantern, a spooky, or a boo? Spooky! You got it. Okay, Judy, since you picked spooky, you get to pick the color. What do you want to see the spooky in? I can do it all one, or we can do it in two colors. We can do the words in one color and the bats in another, or we can do the whole thing in one color. You get to pick. Bye, Maria. Thanks for stopping in. Have fun with those grandbabies. This one's brand new, so I'm going to fuzz it up while I'm waiting to hear our color. Spooky. Let's see if I've written on the back of this one. I have not. Got to write on the back of it so I don't make a mistake. So easy to do. The transfer sheets that these come on one side is shiny and the other side is matte but they're very very uh, close together so um, we write on the back of them so that you know that's not where you want to put it too many decisions oh just pick a favorite color what's your favorite color what's judy's favorite color i bet somebody could even go look that up if they wanted to Orange, okay, fabulous. So let's see, how about, let's get this guy on the chalk disc. So here's a little chalk disc. This is what comes in my little samples. It's perfect size for a little ornament. So I'm gonna try to center the words on here. Oh my goodness, all right. I'm going to do spooky, the word spooky in orange, and I'm going to do the bats in another color. Let us see. What other color do I have? I'm going to do bats in. Well, goodness, I hate to do orange and purple again. Let's see what else we got. Oh, here we go. Orange and blue is always good. So let's use our peacock blue and have blue, Ooh, that is very dry. Let me spritz that and give it a stir. Let's have blue bats. Oh, red is a favorite color. Well, would you like the bats to be red or the spooky to be red? Because I can do that, it's not too late. Spooky could be red. Let's see, you just let me know. I'm pretty versatile. Stir, 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 stir. A drink. Okay, she's not coming back for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with orange. So let's do a different color orange. This is my orange peel orange that has been getting a lot of use lately. I'm gonna put a little on the black back of my spatula, and I'm gonna use that like a squeegee and go over the top and put the rest right back in the jar. And the lid goes right on the jar. Bam! 
Easy peasy. I'm going to do the same thing for these little bats. I'm just going to use the spatula and try not to mix our colors because I am messy, messy, messy. Get the excess and go right back into the jar. It's telling me I lost lost the feed, so I hope I'm still there. Hope I'm still alive, guys. Y'all will give me a thumbs up and let me know if I am. Okay. All right. I got the excess off of the bats, and let's do the reveal. Oh, let's turn it right side up, and here we go. Uh oh, I can't hold on to it. There we go. Oh, I like it. I like it. Let's get it underneath the light. Oh, thank you guys for the thumbs up. You, that must mean that you can hear me. The lag is really, really, really running behind this evening. Hi, Eva. Thanks for joining. We made a couple of jack lantern. Well, we made one jack lantern and one spooky disc. Love how it turned out. Isn't that too cute? I'm going to figure out a way to put that in my decorations for my Nightmare Before Christmas tree. I'm thinking, because I, I don't want to drill holes in the chalk discs, I'm thinking seriously about wiring them. Using some of the, my jewelry wire and just wiring them up and then hanging them, I think that would look kind of cool. I don't know. There's plenty of time to figure that out. Plenty, plenty. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight as we made these Halloween-inspired projects. I appreciate you taking time out of your evening to spend with me as we're doing crafty fun things. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Let me bring that up so you can see it a little better. There you go. Look at these that we made. So cute. Awesome. Hope you'll join me again tomorrow. I'm sure we'll have some more crafting fun going on tomorrow evening. And um, maybe even tomorrow during the day. I jumped on this morning and was able to do a project really quick this morning. Had so much fun. And I think that I did seven signs today. So I have a lot to show you guys. We may come on earlier in the day tomorrow and just show you all that. Anyway, hope you'll join us again. And until next time, happy crafting.